if you see this new guy I went on a date with, he's handsome, super rich, so romantic and very fun to be with. You need to see this guy. Do you know that he took me out yesterday to three different shopping centers and we had fun together. Yesterday was so lovely. I really enjoyed myself. He promised to take me out tomorrow again. Wow, that's so lovely. But sorry to ask, what about Caleb? I thought you guys are in a serious relationship. Please, let's forget about Caleb for now. I know we are in a serious relationship, but this new guy is something to hold on to. Are you trying to say you are no more together with Caleb? Babe, calm down. I'm not saying we are no more together. But like I said before, this new guy is something to hold on to. Who doesn't like good thing? I know Caleb loves me, but I have to try this new guy too. Remember, I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Are you trying to start double dating? I never said I will start double dating. I will just choose who my heart beats for. Amaka, you are something else. Your heart should not be too fast to start beating for the guy. You shouldn't have accepted going out on a date with that new guy since you already have someone in your life. How would you feel if you see Caleb with another girl going out on a date? I'm sure you won't feel alright. Jane, I can see that you are an enemy of progress. Listen, I am not married to Caleb yet. So I have the right to hang out with anybody. I know you are not married to Caleb yet, but you guys are in a serious relationship. So you have to respect that. Going out on a date with the new guy means you want to start a new relationship with him. Fine, I have said my mind. If you have ears, then listen. But if you don't have ears, that's left for you. I've heard you, my special advisor. Please, can we talk about something else? Hello, Amaka. What's the matter with you? I have been calling you for some days now and you have refused to answer my call. Hope there is no problem. What do you mean by hope there is no problem? Is there any problem before or are you trying to create one? If there is no problem, then why have you been ignoring my calls? I will call you and you won't pick my call. Then when you see missed calls, you won't bother to call back. I have been noticing some strange characters these few days. Did I offend you or is there something you are not telling me? If I have offended you, please tell me so I can start apologizing. Caleb, I don't know what you're talking about. What are the strange characters you have been noticing? I will tell you. Number one, these few days I noticed that you don't used to call me anymore. I'm the only one calling. Before, I know how you used to call me just to hear my voice. But these days, nothing like that again from you. Secondly, we have not seen each other for some days now and you are not bothered. I have been calling you to make out time for us to see, but you have been ignoring me. I think I should stop here for now. Caleb, please, I don't know what you're talking about. Besides, I just came back from work and I'm very tired. Please, I want to rest. Maybe we can talk about this any other day. Not now, please. I just want to go to bed and have a deep sleep. Amaka, this is exactly what you told me yesterday and you ended the call. Then I tried calling you later, but your number was busy. You were on another call for over two hours. Who was calling you yesterday? What do you mean by who was calling me yesterday? So I don't have the right to answer call again? Am I not an adult? What do you mean? What kind of relationship are we even into? Are we into cage relationship? Please enough of all these monitoring and suspicious acts. I'm an adult and I have the right to receive calls. So spare me that. Please, if you don't mind, I have to go now. I need to sleep early so I'll wake up early and prepare for work. I don't even think I can continue with this relationship. Please, don't call my number again. Bye. What is wrong with Amaka? Why this sudden change? We have been in good terms all this while. But why is she now misbehaving? I think I need to see her face to face to sort things out. But... She's not even giving me the chance. I don't know where to start. I love this girl so much and I don't want to lose her. I have the plan of marrying her in the next two months. But with the way things are going now, I don't think it will be possible. Maybe she has found someone better than me. Anyway, let me not conclude yet. Maybe she's pretending to know how I will react. I think this is a test. How will she just break up with me? just like that without any reason
No, this can't happen. <laughs> MD, you are too funny. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. I will take you around the world. I even forgot to tell you that I received a contract from the president of China that worth millions of dollars. Wow, you are the kind of man I want in my life. Don't worry. I will even take you to China after our marriage. Hope you know how to speak Chinese. I don't know, but you will teach me. Ah, to speak Chinese is very simple now. Chun chin chun cha. What does that mean? It means I love you. Then, when I say chin chua yo, it means you are beautiful. MD, are you sure this is Chinese language? Don't worry now. When we get there, you will know. Wow. I can't wait. I have two cars in the city where I live. I just came back with nothing so that I can select a good wife material to marry. Not a second-hand wife material. You know I am the only husband material. All other men are just building material. That's why I disguise myself to look poor so I can attract through love. Don't mind my dress, so oh. by the time I take you to the city where I live, you won't believe it. I have a car garage with two cars, and I have boys working for me. Mmm, you are such a humble man. Yes, na. I have been searching for true love for a very long time. All the ladies that have been coming my way are just interested in my money. One of them even stole my 5 million naira and traveled abroad with it. Ah, yeah. Hey, uh, I'm so sorry about that. Don't worry, it's nothing. So... I would like you to follow me to the city. We will spend small time there. And when we come back, we will get married. Wow, I can't wait to become your wife. Caleb, I'm so sorry about how my friend treated you. I will try and talk to her. This is still strange to me. I have known Amaka for just six months. And I'm trying to make things work out between the both of us. I'm trying to settle down this year. I don't really know what came over her. The Amaka I know before was a very good girl, though we are still learning each other. Just few days, she started misbehaving. Maybe she's trying to put some things in order. I don't think she's serious with what she told you. I think she's serious because the way she sounded was something serious. Since then, I have been trying to reach out to her or to even see her face to face. But all to no avail. I don't know what to do again. Just give her time. Maybe she's trying to sort herself out. I will also try my best possible to see her this week. I will give you a feedback. Just put yourself together. I believe this issue would be resolved. Amaka, what's wrong with you? Why would you discharge Caleb just like that? Are you sure you are in your rightful senses? Babe, forget about Caleb. He's now my ex. I don't have anything to do with him again. He doesn't have a car, no house, nothing at all. You need to see this my new guy. Very humble and he's a secret millionaire. And for your information, I'll be traveling with him to the city very soon. Hmm, this is too sudden. I just hope you know what you are doing. So I should go ahead and tell Caleb that you have seen someone else. In fact, tell him that I'll be inviting him for my wedding very soon. Amaka, take it easy, you. Your shakara is so much. Yes, so... I know Caleb is not poor, though he doesn't have much. But you see this my new guy? He's super rich. He has two cars and his own house. That's the kind of man I want. Already made man. I don't want to marry and start suffering. I want to be happily married. It's alright. I'll give Caleb a feedback. Please do. It will really help him. Baby, you are welcome. Please make yourself comfortable. I don't understand. Is this a prank or what? Where is this place? This is my house now. This is where I live. <laughs> I know you are joking. I know you to be a humble guy, always trying to test me to see if I'm a wife material. 
Please, enough of the test. Biko, where are we? We are in my house, baby. Make yourself comfortable. What? How will I make myself comfortable in this kind of dirty room? I don't get it. If this is a joke, better stop it because I won't take it from you. Baby, I'm serious. This is where I live. Don't you like it? Don't let me curse you because if I do, you remain cursed forever and ever. Baby, no need to curse me because we will soon become husband and wife. I thought you said you are rich. You have two cars and the president of China gave you a contract. So you lied to me. No. Why will I lie to you? Am I mad? I didn't lie to you. It's you that didn't understand me. You did not even care to ask me the kind of business I'm into. Actually, I wash cars for a living. And I also do bus conductor job at times. I have two cars that I wash every week. That's my Oga car. He brings it every week for me to wash. So, that's the two cars I told you about. Then, for the contract, I had a dream where the president of China gave me a contract. Those Chinese you heard me speaking. I launched them in my dream. So, that's it. Just relax. This is your new home. MD, you are mad. In fact, you are abnormal. No, I'm not abnormal. My name is MD. Will you shut up there before I give you a dirty slap? Baby, please, manage with me. You are the first lady to accept my proposal for the past 25 years. I know you won't believe this. I have been single for the past 25 years. In fact, I have been single right from my mother's womb. But thank God you are here. MD, it's God that will punish you for bringing me here to come and suffer with you. Ah, Amaka baby, it has not gotten to that now. If you call my name again, thunder will just strike that your mouth. Nonsense. <laughs> Please forgive me. I was deceived by one man that calls himself a human being. Please, I'm sorry. I know I hurt you real bad. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Amaka, I don't know what you are talking about. Who even gave you the address to my new apartment? I went to your former compound and someone in that compound gave me a new address. The person that gave you the address didn't tell you anything about me? No, the person didn't tell me anything. Sweetheart. Jane, what are you doing here? I should be the one asking you what you are doing in my husband's house. Husband? Did I hear you say husband? I believe you heard what I just said. Um, Amaka, please leave my house. You said you don't want to hustle together with a man to build a family or wealth. You want already made man. You don't want to suffer with any man, yet you want to enjoy. Please leave my house before I release my dogs on you. You are nothing but a greedy fellow, second-hand wife material. Please, leave my house.